Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Battletech. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today here in a little bit of a tough bind. We are facing proper, big, and tough mechs. I haven't had the chance to see exactly what weapons they have. So far we can only see probably the easiest one of them. I think there is a light one in there, uh, or either that there's somebody that's a little, a little bit faster that goes on... on uh, the, the number four, I, de there's a name for that. Uh, so let's have Vic see... I, I've been looking around here and Vic cannot see anybody. I can bring her up here, which would be interesting, getting a little bit of height advantage there. Not for her, though. Uh, she has taken hits, though, and I, I am very... I'm, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. That's something I, I, I'd rather not. Please, thank you. Uh, that said, she's not going to quite get a line of sight on that one, so I'm going to bide my time with her and I'm gonna bring behemoth to fire some rounds over there maybe maybe we're gonna do that with everyone it's all gonna be an indirect damage so that is pretty decent and if we focus on that the problem with this is that this guy's gonna go right off the bat uh, and we're gonna ha this, this is this is gonna be really tricky it's gonna be all really tricky so maybe I want to have her uh, let's see what is the range on that that's pretty bad that's that's bad range Ooh, that's nice Oh, but that, that's going to be a problem there, because she then kind of blocks the path. Let's do this thing. Let's see if we're going to succeed in our bid. Oof. 65. Why exactly was that? Hmm. Well, I'm sending all of them in. Targeting for an alpha strike. They're not full armor. That was structure exposed where? That's nice. That is nice. Let's bring Lich in. She's very far away, though. Let's bring Medusa. Medusa's got an auto cannon. He will not be able to shoot at anyone, which is a shame, but he might be able to get up there. Uh, let's see if I can bring Vic over there. Now, this is good enough. She's not going to be able to fire over there, at least as far as I can tell. She does have some shots. Full throttle. But I might just go ahead and... and uh, no, she's not going to be able to fire, of course. Yep. Uh, and Medusa can't do much there either. He will be able to gain a little bit of a, of speed, which is going to be nice. Uh, and oh, I, and we can that. see we can see what they are as well. So we have, of course, one Centurion over here, and we have one Dragon that I figured was a Dragon, and I think this is the one that I saw, the sort of big, wide mech. Uh, and it's not that well equipped. It's just going to take a little while to bring down. But we have an assault. We're going up against an assault, at least one, and. Uh, that's gonna be tricky. She has long-range missiles, which I kind of want to fire. Uh, unfortunately... Do I want her going fast, or do I want her land, uh, launching the missiles right off the bat? I want her launching the missiles. It is a shame that I can't bring her over there, because apparently... Yeah, that's the positioning. That's, that's the way it works. Uh, but I'll, Moving out. I'll, I uh, have to sacrifice some of that. So let's fire over here, just with that. Yes. Roger that. Firing on target. Let's see. We should be able, be able to cross that. So that's minus one evasion. That's unsteady and lost evasive. So here comes the light one, and that's the one with the flamer. Of course, it's a fire starter right off the bat, which is nasty. So this guy needs to go. He can attack. Eh, medium laser. That's a miss. And also going to Medusa, which is nice. Okay, now this guy, this little guy needs to go. That's a lot of flamers. He's going to disable us. He did disable us when uh, when I, I did. Yeah, so that guy needs to go. How do I do that? Well, there's, ma there's multiple ways of... Oof. There's multiple ways of bringing him down. Let's try Glitch. Waiting on you, Commander. Glitch is still not going to be in a position to fire. Uh, but I could use her to attack that guy. Is that going to be enough? No. No, it's not. Commander. So it's Behemoth who's going to do the job here. Uh, she has Bulwark, so I can just keep her where she is. Everything should be fine. We are now going to fire everything on that. Unfortunately, we are spending a lot Copy that. of missiles. That's uh, that torso gone. Critical hit, Commander. That was quite a critical hit, and that's a knockdown, which means we go before it goes. Or before they go, whoever that is. 
Okay, that's two pilot injuries right there, which is nice, but it's unlikely that I'll be able to do anything with that. I might... Let's see, do we have anything over here? That's medium lasers. That is a little bit of a problem. Uh, the auto cannon needs to go, though. Where is that the auto cannon? Okay, so I might go for the other torso and try to... But we're probably going to be... I mean, that's ammo over there. Yeah, so if that thing blows up, that pilot is probably dead. I hear ya. Maybe dead. Uh, okay, so I am going to have... Uh, well, everyone is gonna move, so... So, such is the way. We are not really gonna get a lot of, uh... This is kind of terrible. We got that fire starter. That's gonna be a terrible position. Do you have bulwark? No. You do have this, though, so that's pretty nice. Let's bring this little guy down. That's a lot of evasion. This guy, is he blocking? He's just got cover. Okay, so maybe a... F maybe a, a, a aimed shot would be nice over there. Let's uh, enable everything. What exactly are you doing? Press 1. Yeah. 85%. That would be nice. Aim shots, specifically aim for the torso. Depends on what exactly we're dealing with. 54, it's not too bad. It's a shame we can't shoot that. Uh, let's aye, aye. try something else. Uh, uh, you're not in a great position. You do have ace pilot, so that's nice. You can fire over here. That is not good. That is not good. I need to go for an aim shot there, and even then it's nasty. So what I need to do is I need good to bring to go. Glitch. And I need to fire on this little guy with the long-range missiles that she has. Uh, and then we'll we'll see how things work. Uh, there's not... Oh, she can... Oh, that's, that goes down. Okay. I thought she was going to go up there. On my way. Up onto the mountain. Okay, so that's that little guy taking damage right there. Tell me what to shoot. And that's just to lower the evasion a little bit. That's okay. Uh, and then I might I like I need I need to shoot that. But there's just no line of sight. Is there really no line of sight? Yeah. Curious. Well, in that case, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's pretty simple. I'll shoot from here. The, I don't like everything that's going on over here, but that's kind of okay. Uh, special. If I go for a named shot on the torso, called shot, whatever. That was a headshot. That wasn't very great, but that's that's not the point because one. Well, it is sort of the point. Um, that's completely exposed. How much armor do you have on the back? Yeah, that's kind of nice. Let's go with that. Okay, that's a lot of heat, of course. Commander. Uh, that now you have the auto cannon. Now the auto cannon alone should do amazing things. You have ace pilot, so you're gonna fire. And yeah. Locking in all weapon Ooh. systems. I saw that auto cannon go straight at the target. That's a flamer crit right there. Pilot injured. Critical hit. Yes, you have. So that's quite a shame, actually, because you will not defeat us. I will break you. Will you now? Scum. I did. No, you're the scum. Also, you smell. Uh, I was not expecting that. I didn't do the calculations. Uh, I want to have. I want to be facing forward. Position confirmed. Now we might need to just fall back and back and back, because there's four max of them, and the fourth one is moving. So they're all over here. Maybe we don't have assaults. Or maybe they gained initiative. That was not a hit. Can't really rotate the camera or anything. That's a dragon. Apparently, <laughs> that was a bad position, man. That was bad. The dragon is st still gonna shoot on us. That was fortunately a miss on the... Uh, yeah, that's kinda nasty. On the auto cannon. That's an auto cannon 10, but that's still 50 damage. It's like a particle cannon. Except it does a lot more um, stability damage. What is that? That's two particle cannons right there. Really nasty. Warning. Armor low. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if they keep pursuing Vic. Okay, they're they're down to two, I think. So I think the Centurion is gonna come for us. So Vic probably won't be able to. 
yeah, she's really hot. Uh, so I don't want to move her right now. She is sort of exposed, but I, I really don't want to move her. If I could bring, yeah, if I could bring Medusa up there, that auto cannon is not in a good position. It's not going to get any better, though. Uh, but I'm going to fire everything on there with an aimed, an aimed shot. We are not very morally, are we? Resolvi or whatever. Yeah, let's go for it. As long as that auto cannon lands. Actually, the, I need an auto cannon and a medium laser. Oof, that's legs. I did destroy the legs, but that's a knockdown. Yeah, that, that's okay. If I could bring the other. I will make you suffer before you die. <laughs> I incapacitated two pilots. Were they in the same spot? They were in the same spot. So I'm getting a lot of mechs out of this. I was not expecting that. You are so out of luck. And that catapult, that's the heavy mech. Okay, so we have two heavy mechs. The catapult is the one that matters, isn't it? I can't tell. That's two particle cannons. I can't tell the tonnage from here. Uh, that that looks... Yeah, that's the typical one. That's the famous one, isn't it? That's the one you want to have in paint. Those particle cannons are just... Holy crap. I, I It's a catapult. Usually you'd have uh, long-range missiles. Uh, that's the traditional one. Um, I think there's one with an Umbra or something. Or is that the Puma? Or the Bushwalker? Or there's, there's like, names and things. I'm not versed in all in any of this, so I'm terrible. Uh, I am going to bring Behemoth, even though she doesn't have that much armor at the front, uh, or that much armor, period. Uh, she can handle. Uh, and what do I want to bring down? Mm, the dragon, not so much. It's not too dangerous. It is dangerous, but it's not too dangerous. Uh, and uh, I'm going to bring her up there. Heading out. And I'm going to fire everything I have. Not with an aim shot, unless... I mean, the aim, aim shots for her are nice because it, there's a high chance of hitting the head. And let's see how that works, actually. That's a 5%. So, the 5% here, we're firing... Let's just count. So, we're firing 35 rounds. And every time we fire one, we have a 5% chance to hit. So, we're talking roughly... Let's see, on a 20 round... Uh, so... Yeah, on a 20 dice... On a 20 rounds, you're, you have a 50% chance to land one shot. At least. Land at least one shot. Um, and uh, you have, uh, I think, 33% chance to land two shots. But that's on a 20 round. So you're talking 75%. Normally, a 75 No, it's not like that. It's not calculated like that. Or would it be? Somewhere around... Yeah, probably around 60% chance that one shot lands in the head. Which would be nice. But it's not really what I want. Landing these shots would be a lot better. Because... We're trying to bring that down. That said, it's that's not really what I want Behemoth for. And also Fire. she has a pretty amazing chance to hit. What I want is to make this huge giant unstable. Unsteady, I should say. What can I do for you? And start firing my particle cannons. Oh yeah, I'm gonna start firing my particle cannons. Uh, so our left leg over here is sort of broken. Let's turn our right leg to them. That's not going to make much difference, but uh, the problem with that... No, the problem with that is nothing. There's no problem with that. Let's just go. You betcha. Oh, yes, I do. Come on, Glitch. Let's do this thing. So that little guy now that has taken armor damage everywhere... Uh, fire again. Got it. Let's see where that particle can lens. That's there. Okay. We have missiles. Not a whole lot of them, but we do have them. Uh, this is going to make... Yeah, unfortunately, I can't actually shoot. Uh, so do I want her at the front? Sort of, yeah. That's strong. It's not, it, it's not great. What does that one give? Uh, plus critical chance? 50%? Is that what it is? It is. So that's nice. That's a nice shot right there. And she's the tank, so... Uh, also, our right arm is sort of broken. Let's turn our side. And I'll just fire there. I know, I know I'm overheating. It's terrible. I didn't plan. I did plan. I, it was on purpose. Engaging target. Okay. No critical. That's nice. And now they come and destroy us all. That one is going down. That one... Oh, no. That one didn't attack. It's probably standing strong or, you know... The defense. Ooh! 
That was a miss. No, that's not a miss back there, but that was a miss where he landed, but it was a miss on the auto cannon, which is really good. Okay, so we need to detect whoever that is. Uh, I have you... So if you move up, you're going to have visual. Well, if you move up, you are definitely going to have visual. That is very dangerous, however. I don't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these giants. I don't know what kind of... Uh, kind of punching they can do. They shouldn't be able to kill me with one shot. Ready for orders. Behemoth will get line of sight from up there. So that's all I need, really. Aye, aye. She's good for melee, but... Oh, that is nasty. He just went back up on that. Okay, I'm sending you this Locking gift. All weapon system. That's pretty good for the... Uh, that's pretty good, all in all. In all. Good to go. And I can bring gift uh, glitch uh, to up here. I could do also do a shot. I can't do a shot there, but I'm, I'm going to fire... You, Commander. There. Out. It seems that not much is going on over here. Uh, that's ammo on the torsos. I like this. I like this. I want to go with those. Commencing alpha strike. That landed. Yeah, th that's just hitting the torsos a lot. Uh, so I want Vic. Yeah, that's hitting the torsos like enormously. So Medusa alone. He has bul. He doesn't have bulwark. He can move. Okay, that's great. But do so alone with that auto cannon is gonna do extreme amount of damage. I'm not even gonna aim, even though I probably should. But the problem is I, I, all I need for him or from him is the auto cannon. So I'm gonna cool down, and that's that. Affirmative. Please land. Pilot injured. That's all I need. Solid connection. Because that's gonna be another pilot injured, and all I need to do is aim the other one and we keep all the loot, not the weapons, but the yeah, that's good enough. And that's where Vic comes in. So I'm gonna bring you back here. Moving out. I think this this is good. This is a good strategy. Me showcasing how amazing I am at everything, including cooking. Everything, just generally. And uh, yeah, just everything is fine. Apart from cooling. That that's not fine. <laughs> uh, okay, 48%. Let's go with that. Never mind the surreal comments, but you know me already. Unfortunately, that's not a kill. Uh, let's bring you back. Uh, let's bring you over there. And that's a lot of overheating. It's interesting that it overheats after mo movement. I'm pretty sure that's just a side effect of the... The... Um, uh, those particle cannons, well aimed, can bring down a mech. That's why I like having two particle cannons on a single, on a single mech. Yeah, you're going down, mister. Both of you. You're not... I wonder what what weapons he has, or she had. I don't know if that's. Ooh, lovely! Those are so terrifying. It seems like only an auto cannon. Which, yep, yeah, they're right there. Auto cannon five. That's not too bad. Uh, that's not too bad. Uh, so I need you to just go down. That's gonna be up, Behemoth's job, and I want her in there. She can move after, right? Right? No, I, I do want her in there. Uh, so let's bring you over here. Yeah, also, I want her in there because of melee, but also because she's running out of ammo fast. Another shot after this one, and she is gone. Uh, here it comes. Just bring it down. Oh, the, the heat. Uh, well, nothing happened? Oof, okay. Um, so Vic is going to stay where she is. What do you need? Medusa may go for a named shot. I, I can't really get a very nice... Yeah... Very nice evasion shot here. Hiccups. Uh, he has ace pilot, so it doesn't matter. I can do the ace shot from here. Uh, is that a good position? No. So he needs to move. Which sucks. But he does get two initiative. Or two evasion. He does not. I am just mistaken. Uh, I know you're overheating. Uh, I should go... I don't know what those sounds were. Or those vibrations. They weren't even good vibrations. Uh, let's go for torso. Taking the shot. That's a big torso. You Come on. Swine. I will tear your mech in two. Oh, I'm attacking her. And exposed armor, of course. Ooh, that's nasty. That is nasty. I hear ya. Okay, now the good thing about this 
is that I can have her as far away as I need to, really. Uh, that's going to expose her left leg, which is precisely the one I don't want to expose. Oh, no. She has bulwark. I'm going to stay where she is. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, we should do an aimed shot, shouldn't we? Particle cannon is... Oh, nope. It's not that, the problem is not the particle cannon. We should do an aimed shot. What is that up there? Heat sinks. Yeah, well, I'll just fire. Because the, the long-range missiles are going to bring it down. Right leg destroyed. Is That's enough. So now Vic can Another go ahead. Like that and you're toast. This might actually knock her down. I don't know. I don't know how much health she has. Pilot injured. Okay, so it's not five. Because Lady Victor Victoria actually counts as one. Okay, Vic. Uh, she can move. We can shoot. Uh, let's shoot everything. Of course, that is overheating like hell. Just everything overheats. Uh, bring that down, please. Heat sink destroyed. MG critical. No pilot injury. Critical damage detected. Yeah, but it wasn't pilot injured, so that didn't really count. Uh, or, of course it did, but still, still doesn't. Okay. So now it's both their turns. I'd love to know what weaponry. Okay, that's Medusa taking damage. That's fine. It's the first time he's taking damage. Light damage. Yeah, don't worry about it. And here comes Lady Victoria. Her victory is nowhere, though. Uh, that's per perfectly fine on Medusa. Yeah, she's going down. She is... That's bad. Waiting for orders. But that's why I have Vic over here. Now she... Uh, no, Vic, Vic, the Lich. Now she is going to overheat. Which means bad things. That said, if I just fire this on her... This. On her. That's not going to do too much damage. Um, we should flee, shouldn't we? Well, I should flee like so. Got it. Because this is gonna penetrate. Special delivery. With any luck, there's a crit. Pilot injured, and that's a third. You run when you had the chance. No, it's not possible. I can still win this. Yes, you can. Even though you've been just, yeah, you definitely can. Uh, that is great, because again, he wasn't the center torso destroy, so we're doing just exactly what I need, and I love it. Standing by. Okay, now we have Medusa over here. She has, uh, she can stand her ground, so I kind of want her to. That's a pretty bad line of sight, though, right there. Not line of sight, the range. Uh, and I'll just go with that. I'll actually Moving aim position. from up there uh, and try to bring that down. If I can, which I can't, I'll I'll go for the head. Firing full compliment on enemy. <laughs> I love the word compliment. That wasn't a head hit, of course it wasn't. Vic can uh waiting for orders. Medusa can do amazing things. And he might be able to do it without overheating, I don't know. No, he's not gonna do it without overheating. So I want uh I want a precision strike, especially on that autocannon. I want it over there, 30%. Right torso, that's what I needed. Because that's pilot injured, and that's a knockdown. Nice. Unless they have more than three health. Which they might. They do. They do. They also have no weaponry. Which is lovely. It's just lovely, and I love it. With, with it's the, Because it's lovely. Okay, so you can move after. Unfortunately, you can't attack right now. What the heck? What in the world? How can you not attack? Shut up, you can attack. I know it's gonna overheat. It's fine. Do an aim shot. Of course. Let's bring down the leg. Let's try and kill the pilot. Because, of course, the knockdown and all that. Bring that leg down, come on. Engaging target. And actually, the, the missiles might do it. Yes. And that is a kill? <laughs> Just killing them through brute force. <laughs> Just smacking their mechs on the floor. 
<laughs> Mission successful, Commander says Kamea. Nicely done. Doctor Murad, does the Argo does the Argo have an empty storeroom that could serve as a makeshift brig? I'm sure that something could be arranged, Lady Arano. She says. But then arrange it and get a lock on Lady Espinosa's ejection pod. She's coming with us. Ooh. Mission successful. We have prisoners. It was as successful as it could be. I did, of course, mess around with it a little bit on the load games, but I don't think that was cheating or anything. I was just having fun, really. And uh, I had, I have a lot of, I had a lot of fun having luck. That was a lot of it was luck. Um, I like the implications of it, though. I like the implications that we can bring down heavy mechs with just torso shots and just by killing the pilots because this is going to give us all of the parts at least two i think at, at least one part for sure of each mech but two parts hopefully we'll see how that goes uh and uh oh behemoth didn't get a kill it doesn't matter but still and yes we have parts for days we have a dragon we have okay we only have we have a full dragon if we want to i only need the one i probably don't even need the one but let's go with that uh, the dragon is 60 tons. We have a catapult, which is 65. Unfortunately, you only have one part of that. That kind of sucks. Um, we can bring along... Uh, we can make another centurion, or a full centurion. Look at that. Okay, that that's interesting. I don't really need it. We could make a fire starter if we needed one, which is kind of nice, but I don't think I'm going to go with that. Uh, a wolverine over here, another wolverine... A shadow hawk. Uh, if I remember correctly, the Wolverine is the one that sucks that I don't like, right? Uh, fairly flexible in terms of weaponry ranges. Yeah, I prefer the shadow hawk. Uh, no, 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 the other way around. Oh, they're flexible. That's interesting. Yeah, I know the, it's the one that I that are. Yeah, I don't like the shadow hawk as much. Um, even though they can be very good, but just like personal preference. Let's see. We have a particle cannon that I'm taking for sure, because it's a, an enhanced one and extra accuracy and all that, and everything else is good where it is. So I can bring another another dragon in. Maybe we got two dragons. That'd be interesting. Or do I need a commando? No, I just need a heavy mix. Let's go with the dragons. Uh, we can't get two dragons, mind you. Uh, we did not get an extra. We did get a, a centurion, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, uh, yeah, we have two new mechs. Let's see what else we have. A flamer, particle cannon, some heat sinks, a bunch of medium lasers. We always get medium lasers. And uh, 12 million... Whatever those are, credits, they're, they're got names, uh, worth of salvage. So, pretty amazing. Absolutely pretty amazing. However, we are out of time for the day. So, we're going to have to get our debrief and look at our mechs next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this, unless this is a cutscene, and it is... This has been Battletech. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>